Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, uh, we were discussing about all of the Selenium sort of tools in very much detail, right? So, today what we'll be doing is that we'll be discussing about the Selenium grid. So, uh, previously we had already discussed about the IDE, about the RC and even about the web driver. So, today we are going to discuss about the last Selenium sort of tool and that's the grid, okay? Let's get started out here. So, uh, first of all, I'll be discussing about this grid, that what it is, what it is used for. Then we'll be discussing up the architecture and we'll be discussing up the features. Okay, this is how we'll be proceeding on. So, I will take up this color. Let's get started out here. Um, okay, so if I talk about the selenium, so selenium grid, if I talk about the selenium grid, so selenium grid is a feature, is a, selenium grid is a feature, in selenium in selenium selenium grid is a feature in selenium that allows that that allows you that allows you to run that allows you to run uh, that allows you to run test cases test cases in different machines test cases in different machines uh, one second, let me get down here. So, Selenium Grid is a feature in Selenium that allows you to run test cases in different machines across different platforms, across, across different, across different platforms. Right? So, it is one of the features in the Selenium that allows you to run out of different test cases in different machines across different platforms. So, it as well supports out different different types of platforms as well. Okay? So, the control, the control of, the control of triggering, the control of triggering the test case, the control of triggering the test cases is is on the is on the local machine so the control of triggering the test cases is on the local machine okay so basically on the local machine the test cases actually run out and when and when the and when the test cases and when the test cases are triggered are triggered they are they are let me get down here one second uh, and the, when the test cases are triggered they are automatically they are automatically executed they are automatically executed by the by the by the remote by the remote machine okay so, so selenium grid is a feature in selenium that allows you to run the test cases in different machines across different platforms the control of triggering the test cases is on the local machine and when the test cases are triggered they are automatically executed by the remote machine so, um, this is the procedure actually, this is how the Selenium grid works out, okay? Now, let's take a quick example in that relevant case. Suppose, suppose you have, suppose you have five test cases. Suppose you have five test cases, okay? Your, your local machine, your local machine is running your local machine is running multiple applications your local machine is running multiple multiple applications fine so you want so you want to run your so you want to one second so you want to run so you want to run your test cases so you want to run your test cases in a so you want to run your test cases in a remote in a remote machine so you want to run your test cases in a remote machine then in that case you need to you need to configure 
in that respective case you need to configure the remote server configure the remote configure the remote server so that so that the test cases so that the test one second let me get down you need to configure the remote server so that the test cases can be can be executed can be executed there okay so um this is how this grid actually works out first of all it's a little bit of uh, other things so i would explain once again so selenium grid is a feature in selenium that allows you to run test cases in different machines the very first one which allows you to run the test case in different machines across the different platforms okay then the control of triggering the test cases is on the local machine the control of triggering the test cases is on a local machine and when the test cases are triggered they are automatically executed by the remote machine so first of all this is how uh, the selenium grid actually works out this is the procedure how it works out okay next let's suppose you are having out a five test cases okay your local machine is running multiple apps okay you, you are having multiple apps running on your local machine so what you want is that you want to run your test case in a remote machine you need to configure the remote server so that the test cases can be executed so this is how the selenium grid actually works out okay next next what is there that what it supports so it supports distributed it supports distributed test execution distributed test execution it supports distributed test execution okay put a full stop initially initially you have a initially you have a local machine initially you have a local machine where you where you write where you write the where you write the test cases where you write the test cases and one second or uh, let me get down so it supports up the distributed test execu execution initially you have a local machine there where you write up the test cases and executes and executes on the and executes on the same and execute on the same machine so now what uh, however however in a however in a big organization however in a big organization what happens out there so however in a big organization you have a uh, what do you have you have you have multiple test cases you have multiple you have multiple test cases you have multiple test cases okay in the big organizations you have multiple test cases and and it's not possible and it's not and it's not possible uh, to run and it's not possible to run to run all the test cases to it and it's not possible to run all the test cases in the and it's not possible to run all the test cases in the in the same machine okay so uh, how so however in a big organization you have multiple test cases right so whenever we are having a big organization so in that you have to apply out the multiple test cases right and it's not possible to run all the test cases in the same machine it would be it would be not at all possible to run out all the test cases in the same machine so what happens that so uh, in that case in that case what you have so in a large organization in a large in a large organization you have in a large organization you have multiple servers you have in a large organization you have multiple servers so so local machine distribute distributes so local 
mach one second so local machine so local machine distributes industry so local machine distributes the test cases distributes the the test cases across across different across different machines across different machines or you say as servo okay so in that relevant case this is how the selenium grid actually works out so now let's say you are having auto organization uh, sorry a company and in that you have multiple test cases to run out so in that case it won't be possible for you to run out all of those, those test cases in one single and one single and one same machine so what happens in the large organizations so in the large organizations you have multiple servers so that the local machine distributes the test cases across different machines and the servers and then your work becomes easy and this is how it is it actually works about whenever you are having some large organization and you have to run out the multiple test cases right hope i'm clear with that now let's discuss about the architecture of grid let's talk about the selenium architecture of the selenium grid so in the architecture of selenium grid you have two important things first is the hub and second is the node you have two important things here hub and the node so what are these in respect to and what are these actually that let's let's see in a very uh, brief way that what are these so you could see that hub, hub is a central point that receives all of the test request okay hub is a uh, you could say it is a central point that receives all of the test request and what about the node so for node you could see that it is one of the selenium instance which will execute the test cases which are loaded onto your hub okay these this is uh, okay i just said that i will be giving you a very brief intro about the hub and the node so for the detail we'll be watching up that in the detail in the next video so if i talk about the selenium grid so selenium grid is a feature in the selenium that allows you to run up the test cases in the different machines across one i'm so sorry uh right here great across the different platforms so the control of triggering the test cases is on the local machine and when the test cases are triggered they are automatically executed by the remote machines okay next next we just took out an example that suppose we have five test cases oh, oh i'm so sorry great so suppose we have five test cases so your local machine is running multiple apps so in that case you want to run your test cases in a remote machine so what you need to do is that you need to configure up the remote servers so that the test cases can be executed at that particular place right so this is how the grid actually works and this is what the grid completely works about and about the architecture of grid now we'll be seeing about the uh, detailed architecture of grid in the next video so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care